Hello everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial actually how you can achieve more than 60 FPS in the game Dead by Daylight because naturally the game Dead by Daylight is capping your FPS at 60 FPS even if you are able to achieve more and there are some hidden tricks that you can actually apply so that you get more FPS out of the game and today I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing that you will have to do to achieve this is actually Go into the description of this video and copy just the path to the following folder. So you can go into your search bar down here, just type it in and press enter and then you are at this place. Or if you do not have the search bar down here, you can press on the start command uh, and also just press S. It should automatically open up the search bar and then you can remove the letter and again search for the folder. So we open up the folder and in this folder you can see a lot of data but we do not care for the most of it. We only care about two of them. We care about engine.ini and we do care about game user settings.ini. So we go over to the engine.ini, open it up, go to the lowest part of the document and just below all of that we're gonna copy paste the code that I will also provide in the description of this video down below that looks like this then you can say now we have pasted in the code it is the script.engine.engine blah 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 and be smooth frame rate uh, falls it is just so you have like a smoother experience uh, minimum smooth frame rate is five also this is that you don't have any lag and that the the whole showing on the screen what you can see actually is a smooth experience max move frame rate uh it uh, it is actually at 120 i wouldn't recommend to go over the number of 120 some people normally achieve like 180 fps 200 fps da 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 but when you're in game and you're putting it above the maximum frame rate of 120 you can experience some negative impacts on the gameplay where your character is lagging behind and so on so actually i do not recommend to go over 120 fps and also very important down here the b use vsync equals false so vsync is off it doesn't apply the vsync of your monitor into the game perfect the engine ini is done don't forget to save the document document is saved i just pressed Control s you can also go to data and save up here right makes no difference and afterwards you go into the game user settings you can see i opened that up here and we saw the vsync and the other document that we have set to false and we need to do the same thing here so we need to go into the game user settings and turn the vsync to false and actually if you just look through it here b use vsync equals true this goes to false and after that we can also save if you don't want to pay so much attention hey where's the vsync and so on you can also just control f for the search and vsync search da 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 you found it and you can set it to false so now we have set it and now we should be able to achieve the 120 fps actually in game when we are playing one last thing some people have also told me that they experienced some problems regarding these documents and when they were doing that and somehow it didn't get saved or something like that the fix to that is actually you press right click on the engine any or on the game user settings and you go down into the properties and down in the properties you have there the attributes and it should be here read only yes or no if it is off for you and you experience these problems try to put it on on if it is on for you and you experience problems try to put it off so that could be one of the potential fixes for that now you can see the game is actually starting for me and down here i am letting the game show me the fps that i'm achieving right now so during the starting sequence we have uh, way above the uh, cap which we also have set but now we're getting into the game and you can see it is jumping uh, around but it always meets the maximum of 120 fps so this is basically how you can achieve that if you also want to show yourself how much 
FPS you're achieving or uh, what amount of FPS you are having currently in game you can do that easily with Steam so this is a tip only for the Steam users you open up the Steam overlay that you have go over here to settings and into the tab in game in the tab in game you can see the in game FPS counter and then you can set it from off to top left top right bottom right or bottom left as you wish so that was it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I was able to uh, help you. If anybody of you experiences problems, feel free to leave a comment. Maybe we can figure out together what you can do to resolve your problem. And I would also be happy if you guys would check out some of my other videos. So thank you guys very much. Till the next time. See you.